Hello, this is Joyce and Spring Chick Chow, and this is our vlog from day... Oh, wait a minute. This is day one from the Sima Show. It's actually our day two, but it's day one of the show actually being open. And, of course, I'm your new social media queen, as I just discovered. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, you know. Well, you know that we do news. So, anyway, but I did find out that some people think I do a lot of social media. Well, we do do some. But, anyway, getting back to what's happening at Sima. As many of you know, Sima is... Oh. Shall we talk? It's, now I'm sitting there going, they, they, they changed it. Um, specialty equipment, um, M motor. <laughs> um, uh, no, I'm sitting there going, um, it's the automotive aftermarket. That is the big SEMA show that's been going on year after year after year. I don't know, in fact, exactly how many years they are, but this is one of the shows that people especially auto enthusiasts look forward to every single year because this is what happens to your car after you've purchased it and what you can do with it. So the big news today, of course, is day one of conferences, um, or day one of the conferences, we have a lot of press conferences. Now, I wish that we could have attended all of them, but that would have been like a near impossibility because of the tight scheduling of them as well as them being in multiple places. But we did learn one thing, and that is, Sometimes you have a Darwin moment. Fortunately, it was not ours personally, although it did affect our timing, and that is, if there is a sign that tells you how, how tall your car can be, is pay attention to it, because driving a truck fast will not force your car in. <laughs> in fact, you could get stuck, literally stuck, your car stuck in the parking lot, and the police have to come and get you out. So anyway, um, so we did not quite make it to all of the things that we would like to. But the big news, of course, oh, at the SEMA breakfast press conference, Apollo Ono was there showing, or receiving, shall we say, his new car. We're going to send you pics so you can go ahead and see that. Yes, you'll see them on our site. Also, um, Toyota Motor Cells had some celebrity guests, and I have to go back and look at their names, but they always have tricked out automotives. Um, one of the cars was one from the surfing guys. I think it has a shower. It's got space for surfboards. It's really, really cool. But Toyota always does some really cool ones. In the past, we've seen, was it Bro Brooks or Dunn? Wait a minute. It was one of, of the musical guys. From Brooks and Dunn. And Ronnie. they had, what? <laughs> uh, Ronnie Dunn. Oh, yeah, Ronnie Dunn. Okay. Duh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm remembering, but he was at Brooks and Dunn. So anyway, Toyota always has some really cool things that they do to trick up their automobiles and make them really, really kind of cool. Hyundai, the Hyundai press conference, they're always showing what they can do. The major car, of course, always is the Hyundai Genesis, which has received so much attention, especially from the New York, New York Auto Show and auto shows around the world. But they were showing new ways to trick them up, and they are always so cool. Now that one, we have to go back and take pictures because in their booth, it is so hard to see them because it goes all around you, and so it's really hard to catch all of them, but, you know, th those are very cool. Also, Ford Motor Company racing 110 years. Yes, they've been burning the rubber. Ford has. They've been going out on the racetrack. In fact, they were doing test drives for people, or shall we say, ride and drive, but they brought out all their racing legends, and you could see some of the cars throughout the year from when Ford really start, ra started racing, and as they say, Win a race on Sunday. Is it win a race on Sunday? You could sell cars on Monday? Yep. Ford Racing. Then General Motors. The, it's Chevy's 100th birthday. Can you believe that? 100 years for Chevy. Yeah, we've got video from the press conference photos. You just have to wait and see on that one. And, yes, we have for you a wind tunnel. And, yes. I, I can't even see it. Okay, I'm going to look for the name of the company, but we have some stuff coming for you. We had a lunch with the company today. We're going to actually go see the wind tunnel, so you get to see that. Also, American Honda has accessories for the all-new 2012 Civic, which they were showing how they had souped it up, and now they're making it available. Yeah, these are things that were not available for the Civic before. Now they're making it really, really easy. And Lexus. You know, I, it's, it's one of those things. That it's like we have gone through so much today. I'm sitting there wishing that I had all of this stuff in front of me. The new Lexus, it's a sport car. You should have seen it. It's absolutely gorgeous. The 2013 version 
is that news from their press conference? You'll have to look at that. And WD-40, Chip Foos introduced the WD-40 SEMA CARES project vehicle. This is one that will be auctioned off at Barrett-Jackson. So you'll see footage from that. Also, Pirelli Tires North America. Oh, the big news is Pirelli with Formula One Racing. Yep, Formula One Racing comes to the United States with Pirelli Tires. And Continental Tires, they did their dream giveaway with, can we just say, some unbelievable Porsches. But Continental Tires, we would always love to thank you because you were one of the sponsors for the Media Center, which helps to keep all of us relaxed and make the day just a little bit easier to go through. So here we are relaxing, catching up, catching some snacks, figuring out what we actually did today. Um, we have a lot more planned for tomorrow, but for now, this is Joyce Nonspring Chief Chow coming to you. Day one.